I want to clarify some comments that I made in my previous video. I said something along the lines that I believe the right wing should be suppressed and treated the way the Black Panther Party was treated in the 1960s. I said there should be investigations, infiltration, and sabotage of all types against these far right wing terrorist groups. When I say this, I'm talking about an initiative that would be carried out by socialists. This is in line with the dictatorship of the proletariat, the idea that the working class can't have real democracy as long as we have freedom for the oppressors and the enemies of the people. It's necessary to suppress all enemies of the people in order to ensure democracy amongst the working class. When I say that the right wing should be treated the way the Black Panthers were, I'm not saying that COINTELPRO should be expected to attack the right wing. The fact is that COINTELPRO and all the repressive programs of the police state are designed to target the left. They have always tolerated the far right because the far right aligns with the U.S. imperialists in many important ways, except for presentation. That's why Trump got so many, so much pushback from the U.S. ruling classes, his presentation. He openly said things that you weren't supposed to say openly as a president. He admitted how bad they were. He exposed the empire just by being so freaking stupid and not having a filter, and that's a good thing. Anyways, COINTELPRO never seriously targeted the far right, although, if I remember correctly, they do claim that they existed to suppress hate groups of all types, including white supremacists. But the church committee hearings showed that COINTELPRO primarily targeted the left and specifically the Black Panther Party. They never waged a real war against the KKK or any of these far right militia groups, hate groups. <clears throat> so, what I'm trying to say is that when I call for the suppression of right-wing groups, I'm talking about something that revolutionaries, progressives, and leftists need to do. We shouldn't expect the U.S. state to suppress fascism in any real way because they basically agree with the fascists. They treat them like a dog, like an attack dog on a leash. And they can use that attack dog to put fear in the left while at the same time claiming not to take responsibility for what the right wing does. They can allow the right wing to attack far left groups while claiming that it wasn't the state directly that did it. They're enablers of fascists. Just wanted to clear that up. I hope I didn't sow more confusion. Let me know if... Uh, the message is getting through here, what I'm trying to say.